स्टूडेंट्स बेसिकली इन दिस कॉन्सेप्ट वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस द डायनेमिक्स ऑफ ए सिस्टम इन लैग्रेंजियन फॉर्मुलेशन लैग्रेंजियन फॉर्मुलेशन टेक्स प्लेस इन कंफ्यूग्रेशनल स्पेस इन कंफ्यूग्रेशनल स्पेस कंफ्यूग्रेशनल स्पेस व्हाट इज कंफ्यूग्रेशनल स्पेस Configurational space is a n-dimensional space where all the possible states of the system can be represented by a point. So suppose you are having generalized coordinates q1, q2, q3 like this, and suppose n number of generalized coordinates are there, then configurational state, configurational space will be n-dimensional, and because on the board I cannot show the n dimension so here i am choosing q1 and here this is qi suppose this is qi okay so this is a configurational space n dimensional space where all the possible states can be represented by a point suppose a classical system is represented by this point at time t so i will write it as qyt so this is the state okay of the system at time you can call it as t1 this is qy and t1 this is now after some time okay its state is suppose here this is qf or you can write qi at time t2 so these are Two two states of the same system at time t one and t two. So now system can evolve from here to here in many ways. There are many possible ways in which system can evolve from time t one to t two. So there may be different paths which are possible here. This path can be like this. Path can be like this. So there are so many paths available. by which the system can evolve from t1 to t2 so naturally which system which path this system is going to follow in the time evolution in the dynamics of the system which path will be followed by the system this was answered by hamilton in the form of his hamilton's least action principle what this principle says that that system is going to follow the path for which line integral of the lagrangian with respect to time line integral of the lagrangian with respect to time from t1 to t2 will have the least value so out of these so many possible paths in the configurational space system will follow the path for which this line integral of the lagrangian with respect to time from t1 to t2 it will have least value this integration this line integration it is called as action we call it as action this is called as action x so this is the formula for the action action s is is line integral of the lagrangian with respect to time so if we consider the question that was asked in jas 2024 exam a classical system has the following action so they have provided us the action so by comparing these two formulas ठीक है this formula and this formula we can directly write down the lagrangian lagrangian so what will be the lagrangian for this classical system that will be that will be this one so this will be q dot square plus alpha q q dot plus beta q square q dot q dot ठीक है so basically here i am considering the question that was asked in jas 2024 here they have a classical system which which is following which has the following action so this will be s will be equal to integration of l into dt so l will be this one this is the lagrangian now lagrangian is known to us then how can we find out the time evolution of the system or how can we find out the dynamics of the system 
So if Lagrangian is given, we can find out the dynamics of the system by writing or by solving Lagrangian's equation of motion. So for this Lagrangian, generalized coordinate is 1, that is Q here. So write down Lagrangian's equation of motion. Lagrangian's equation of motion. Okay, so what it will be? This will be del L by del Q dot Q dot d by dt of this minus del L by del Q equal to 0. So in Lagrangian formulation, if you want to find out the time evolution or if you want to find out the dynamics of the system, then you have to solve the Lagrangian equation of motion. For this purpose, you should know the Lagrangian. So here, by comparing this action, taken with the action given in the question, taken we can find out Lagrangian. So now find out del L by del Q dot first. Del L by del Q dot. What it will be? Q dot is here, so this will be two Q dot. Q dot. Second Q dot is here, so this will be plus alpha Q and plus this is beta q square beta q square okay now take the time derivative if you take the time derivative of this okay of this term then this will be d by dt d by dt of del l by del q dot del q dot so what you are going to have this will be two times q double dot plus alpha q dot plus 2 times beta q and this will be q dot this will be 2 times beta q into q dot now find out second term now find out the second term del l by del q so here I am writing I am removing this I am removing this So what will be del L by del Q here this will be Q is here so this will be the uh, Q is here if you look here this is Lagrangian Q is here so this will be alpha Q dot Q dot Q is here so this will be 2 times beta this will be Q into Q dot now substitute these two terms here in the Lagrangian equation of motion. So what will be the equation of motion here? What will be the Lagrangian equation of motion? This will be 2q double dot 2q double dot plus alpha q dot plus 2 times beta q q dot this is the first term minus this one so you will write minus alpha q dot minus 2 times beta Q, Q dot and this will be equal to 0. So these two terms, this will cancel out by this, this will cancel out by this. So this will be, this will provide us Q double dot is 0. Q double dot is 0. If you take, if you integrate this, what will you get? You will get, you will get dQ by dt. On integrating it, you will get dQ by dt and this will be equal to some constant sigma. If you further integrate this, you will find out that this will be C1t, okay, C1t plus C2. So here actually this was d by dt, you can write like this, and dq by dt, dq by dt, and this was equal to zero. So this quantity will be a constant C1, I am assuming, now, if you further integrate this, this will be C1t plus C2. So here, time evolution of this system means you want to find out Q as a function of time. How Q is going to change with time? So this is given by this T plus C2. So here, this Qt is independent of this alpha and beta. If you consider the dynamics of the system, the dynamics is depending upon these two other constants, C1 and C2. 
but it is independent of alpha and beta. So question was, which of the following statements is true about the dynamics of the system? The dynamics is independent of alpha and beta. The dynamics depends only on the alpha. Dynamics depends only on beta. And it depends on the ratio of alpha and beta. So here, by this equation, you can observe that dynamics of the system is independent of alpha and beta. So our answer will be A. A. So in configurational space, a system follows the path for which x and integration, this is having the least value. What is the definition of this x and this is the definition of the x and by comparing this with the x and given in the question, we find out the Lagrangian by solving by solving Lagrangian equation of the motion, we find out the time evolution of the generalized coordinate q. This will represent the dynamics of the system. And we observe that this dynamics is independent of alpha and beta. 